All right, here's the Mallard M32. It's a 2016 model. Right up front, you're gonna notice that you've got a hand crank, 20 pound LP tanks. Um, they do not come from the factory with the battery. That's why I have a jump pack hooked up here. Obviously, we would be adding one of those on our end. I guess I'll swing around this way. We do have a pretty huge pass-through storage in here, fully finished. Up underneath here, actually is insulated. So if you guys are doing late season camping and you only have these, you know, essentially your doors right here, blocking the cold from underneath your bed. This down here being insulated will keep it from getting in the bedroom. Most campers do not have that. This also has slam baggage doors. Just gonna drop them and they close. They also have this magnet up here so you don't have any clips. Pretty straightforward. This one does have the, the slide cable system for the slides. Why that's important, it's gonna pull equally on each four corners of the slide room itself versus having something underneath here that's just gonna rely on gravity to you know hit and flop and fall into place. When you're going down the road, you got this little rubber wiper blade that comes in contact with the sidewall over here, which keep is, keeps your tires over there from actually splashing water up and getting inside your camper. Um, it does have the undercoated belly, so you've got essentially an arctic package down here. It is a heated basement. I don't know if you caught on to the front here, but you do have power stabilizers front and rear, so you don't actually have to hand crank anything. Kind of give you a nice overview. Big slide. You do have wide track suspension. What that means is your tires are spaced out. Gives you a little more room when you're going down the road separates the load. I don't, remember, don't know if you remember those old Grand Prix commercials where it says wider is better. Um, for an, just kind of like a quick reference, this one doesn't have it. So you've essentially got a fulcrum, a tipping point. It's real close together. Whereas this one, you've got the weight spread out a little more. It's not gonna hop around and you know teeter-totter so much on the back of your truck or your hitch. Power outlet right there. This is your rear slide room for your bunk room. All right, round in the rear. This is a mount for a grill. The grill's inside underneath the master bed right now. Um, they don't come with them on. Obviously, you put them on after the fact. You do have city water connection. If you want to add cable, just jump in. Outside shower, hot, cold, this will pull out. Kind of holds yourself off, the kids off, whatever it is you want to do. And then I know you were asking about it, the outside kitchen. So, I mean, it does just close up. I have it open right now just for ease of use, easier to show. Big drawers, big countertop, outside sink, hot and cold water. Ooh, I don't even have the light on. Outside LED light, it does have a brand new TV out here. See if I can open up this fridge. Decent size outside fridge, won't be waking the kitties up. I'm gonna call this a soda can holder here. Maybe I'll use it for something else. I don't know. Little shelf up top. Open up these cabinets here. Pretty decent size storage. Looks like you've got some TV accessories right in the cabinet there. Kick the light off bring the strap in just because this does have a power awning there is an LED light strip not on the wall of the unit it is actually going to be on the unit when it's on the end of the awning when it's out why that's important you can kind of turn it angle the light straight down angle it down in at your camper if you wanted to you could wrap it up angle it up at the top of the awning and just have a little glow also, the bugs won't be attracted to your door here. They'll be out at the end of the yard. So I guess before I get too far involved in everything else here, see if I can hold this camera and do this at the same time. This button here is for tilting it. Push it in. See, what that did is it just slid this whole system up. 
Now the awning will have a tilt to it. The water is going to naturally go that direction and dump because it'll be at an angle. Or if you wanted to do it vice versa, obviously you can do that. You are going to get outside speakers on this model. A little light up top in addition to the awning light. Same baggage system over here. Right over here, you're actually going to have your buttons for your manual, or not your manual, your powered stabilizer jacks. That's what these, these are right here. That's going to move that up and down. Obviously, there's a manual override if you need to. But let's hope you never need to use that option. All right, let's go on inside and take a look at the interior. Before we even get in, the first thing you're going to notice here, two inch thick laminated sidewalls. Why that's important, obviously it gives you a little more insulation from the heat or the cold. Easiest way to tell that on anything you're looking at, look at your door frame. These door frames are all two inches thick. They're standard size, so whether you've got a two inch thick sidewall or it's an inch and a half, the door frame is always going to be the same. So what you'll notice is this is real even here. It's right up and on point with it. If you got one that's shorter, you'll have a you'll have a little bit of a gap. Um, before we get too far, I'll show you the weight. This is going to be crooked, so dry weight capacity 6901. So about 6900 pounds. Give or take a pound here and there. Big side cabinets. More cabinet space above the bed. You do get shelves with power on both sides. Sliding doors, pocket doors. The bed mattresses do lift on up on these. You'll have a central vacuum cleaner hose. That's the, in the box. You're going to have that grill that we spoke about. This little piece of wood right here actually is an accessory to make the drop down u-shaped dinette into a bed and then obviously just a propane extension for the grill out back <laughs> all right let's walk around here Got some more lights on here kitchen right out front this is pull out wash your dishes do what you need to do this is what I would call, say, 60-40, 70-30 split sink. Do dishes on one side, dry on the other, or whatever else you chose to do with it. Stove top right here is glass covered. I'm kind of a fan of that because then you get more counter space. When you go to use it, it makes into a natural backsplash. Exhaust fan, microwave. Coming down below, you're going to have an oven. Got some decent storage. Your water heater is sitting right there. That's that white little bubble thing. Got your fridge and your freezer. Runs off of gas and electric. I'm going to spin kind of now here and kind of give you the lay of the land a little bit differently. Does not come with a TV. You can put one in for a lot less than I can do it for you, so we'll just leave that up to you. Your stereo system is right down here. It does have a CD player in it. That's why you've got your RCA cables, essentially. You'd bring up through the hole right here. You can kind of play it. This does have a line in. I do believe you got a USB port, SD card slot, all those good things there. This does spin, so if you had your pocket doors closed, you could turn your TV and watch it in your bedroom if you wanted to. Moving on over to the couch area. This is a tri-fold couch, so it's not just going to jackknife. It'll actually come out in three sections. It'll be pretty far. It'll come out almost to here. You can fit a lot more people in that. This particular unit here, as is the case with all Mallards, doesn't have... The metal window blinds, it's going to have the better higher end cloth pull downs. Decent sized storage, they give you a little shocks here to hold them up so you're not fighting gravity. 
kind of take a look at the window fixtures or the light fixtures I should say big u-shaped dinette does break down to make into a bed like I talked about the other thing people always hit on is going to be that huge picture window right here you can literally slide half of that open tremendous amount of airflow obviously you can see what's going on bring you into the bathroom here get the bathtub I call it kool-aid but it's really winterizing you know solution do you get the head bubble up here to give you a little more height just so you're not hitting your head at anything sink obviously a little storage below medicine cabinet up front you do get a door straight to your restroom so if you've got kids they don't have to track sand and dirt and whatnot in and around through your restroom area power fan up here looks like your tank monitors are in here kind of gives you everything you've got your water pump switch your LP gas water heater or run it off electric All right, from there we're kind of getting into the best part of this unit but I don't want to skip this here you have hanging up top if you choose to take the shelves out or a big pantry down below this is where your central vacuum cleaner is hook in go obviously there's some carpeted area in back here a little bit of carpeted area over here not a whole bunch to clean but it's a lot nicer to be able to suck it up versus sweeping it out trust me I've done that it's it's challenging you get your cub couch down here these both fold out make into a bigger bed area on the floor if need be top bunk over here you can pick it up it'll get out of the way in case you want to sit on the cub couch and if you're sitting on it you can look directly across you'll have a spot for a TV you've got power you've got coax obviously some more storage areas more storage on each side as well some more hanging room so hopefully you don't have to jump into your pantry area and then obviously another bed on top over here one little thing most people overlook I'm a big fan of these right here pull it down swing it up you don't have to crank a little crank thing that's what you used to do the old days this works real quick real easy obviously the rear doubles as an emergency exit again hopefully you never have to use it but if you do it's there best thing I can tell you about the construction of this unit obviously yes aluminum construction the floors and the ceiling are all vacuum bond so that's why when you're looking at the floors here you don't have the I'm gonna call them Cheerio catchers the little heat vents you know that I'd go through and catch all the food bits that little kids leave your heat vents are actually right here they're in the walls so that way you don't have the Cheerio catchers but more importantly with your vacuum bond construction you're not cutting through it ripping it up running heat ducts through it all of that jazz but again underneath this flooring it's where your tanks are and obviously you have your enclosed underbelly that area is heated they blow hot air from your propane system that's running your heater into that cavity to keep things from freezing up so hopefully this kind of gives you a quick insight into the unit if you have any other questions please let me know I will definitely be here to take care of you. Ooh, I'm almost coming up on the maximum YouTube video length time. <laughs> Goodbye.